The Garden Report is powered by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a practice edition of the Garn Report from Georgia Tech campus uh, here where the Celtics just wrapped up. Midweek practice, a couple days off here between their two games against the Hawks here in Atlanta. A rare breath of uh, relaxation and preparation for the second game uh, for this team that's pretty much been playing every other day all year to this point, traveling uh, and just doing what these NBA teams do late in the season, a ton of rest this time of year as well. As for the one injured player on the Celtics, Drew Holiday, he went through practice today. Uh, they did some three-on-three -three work by the time we arrived on the court, uh, and he got a ton of shots up after that even. Not comfortable doing it. Yeah, me interested to see how he looks. If he returns to action on Thursday, Drew, uh, Joe Mazzulla said that's possible. Uh, but no definitive status. We'll get an injury update later this afternoon uh, as we do the day before games. Hawks, meanwhile, in action against the Trailblazers tonight. Might have a little coverage of that game later on. But as for the Celtics, took a look back at that 30-point collapse on Monday. Uh, Joe Mazzulla stressing that this isn't something that's happened to Boston often this year. And that's something he tried to impress on the players as well, uh, along with the fact that this happened. So a similar message to uh, the aftermath of Monday's game. Of course, no Derek White or Holiday in that game had a major impact on the outcome as well. I wrote on CLNSmedia.com that night that I take the 30-point collapse with a grain of salt. It's the crunch time stuff. Joe got asked about that as well in terms of the Jalen uh, three-point heave at the end of the shot clock. And he said they wanted the ball in his hands for that straight line drive. He trusts them in that spot. So a little bit more from Missoula, uh, reflective of trusting the players and letting them do their thing. Even in the late stages of these games, you understand that uh, in a game like that against Atlanta, trying some different lineups, preparing them for those situations in the playoffs. You want to see what they're capable of. But will he do more in those spots in the postseason to interject in a, a position like that after you know, a bad possession the one before? thing is, Jalen did get a good shot off at the elbow, the possession before. So you're always weighing that, as he often says, letting them flow, keeping that rhythm in the game versus calling time out to try to draw something up. And I believe by that point, Celtics might have only had two or three left anyway. Uh, so I'm not hanging too much on that. Another topic of conversation today, the gambling in sports and the impact that's having now is multiple controversies arise across sports. Of course, the big one of Shohei Otani uh, and his interpreter under investigation by MLB right now over what happened with 4.5 million being stolen uh, to pay an illegal bookmaker. And more on the traditional side of things, the legal side of things, uh, Jonte Porter under investigation by the NBA now for allegedly manipulating stats uh, in favor of unders for bettors who put thousands of dollars on his unders in inaccuracies or inconsistencies in gambling tipped uh, the NBA and whatever gambling companies those were off. Uh, Jason Tatum didn't have much to say about that in his commentary. Joe Mazzulla, however, uh, said it's part of the game. You got to take the good with the bad uh, and that gambling's been around forever, even if it hasn't been legal, which is yeah, kind of my perspective on it too. But the incessantness, the fan interactions, and the heckling related to overs and unders. That's all uh, something that's happened over the last couple of years, Jason said. And he said he does want to hit those overs for people when possible, you know, make their day. But he's focused on playing the game rather than his stats or his over under and points or whatever that might be. Uh, so that was their perspective on that. Among other things, you can check out Joe's comments, Jason's comments as well over on CLNS Media and more coverage of uh, Monday's game and tomorrow's game as well here in Atlanta, 7.30 tip uh, between the Celtics and Hawks. Uh, we'll have shoot-around coverage if they hold it. And that's it for today. I'm Bobby Mann. This has been a practice edition of the Garden Report. Testing my skills on prize picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy.